Hi everyone, this is Kunzel here. So today we're going to do the Sino weapon comparison. These are the weapons we're going to compare. We have PJWS, Deathmatch, Missive Wind Spear, which is a new uh, free event weapon in 3.1. We have Kitten Cross Spear, fully craftable weapon. We have White Tesser, which is also a fully F2P weapon. Uh, you can get it from Gacha, you have to get it from Treasure Chest. So I hope you guys did keep 5 copies of this. I, I do have it, I just that I didn't get it to level 90 as well. Okay, but before I go into the actual comparison, where I'll talk about indiv individual weapons performance, I want to first talk about for each of these weapons, what's the attack sense versus EM sense, as well as the 4TF versus 4GD, before I actually go into the weapon comparison itself. So without further ado, let me talk about attack sense versus EM sense. Because we know that without EM giving attack from its signature weapon effect, we, we there should be a bigger difference or a smaller difference for the attack sense versus EM sense, where attack sense should be much closer to EM sense. Okay? So you see here these are the figures. This is the damage figure, this is not the DPS figure, okay? So R5 White Tesser, R5 Missive Wind Spear and R5 Kitten Cross Spear, because all three of these are fully F full F2P weapons, I will only look at the R5 for this portion here. And then we have the R1 Deathmatch and the R1 PJWS. Not to worry, I will also compare R5 Deathmatch and R5 PJWS in the weapon comparison itself. But for the ATSS versus EM sense, we'll just look at R1 for these two weapons. Okay? So these are the damage figures on the EM sense and the ATSS sense is 0 to C6, and this is on 4 Thundering Fury. So these are the figures. You see that there's a whole, there's quite a big portion of the figures being red. Red will mean that the attack sense is better, but there are still some where the EM sense is better and it's the constellations that most people would have, which is C0 or C6, like between the wheels and the F2P players, I shouldn't say most people, most common constellation points or thresholds. Now from the above, right, this is what I'm saying. But for PJWS though, I would definitely recommend Attack Sense because you see that the difference is quite big as at C6. And why is this so? Because PJWS does have a high base attack, it's the highest base attack. Or well, not the highest, sorry, but it's Calamity Quailer. So it's the second highest, 674 base attack at uh, level 19. So the Attack Sense do benefit more from that. As opposed to these weapons where the attack are much lower. None of these weapons have attacked more than 500 or just past 500 for R5 Kitten Cross. Okay. Oh, actually, they are 500 and 400 plus. Okay, sorry, sorry. 500 and 400 plus. But the main point here is that the difference is very small. Look at this. It's less than 2%. Some of them are like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. All of this is as good as no difference. Okay. Anything within a threshold of 2% to me is as good as no difference. So my recommendation for all the other weapons other than PGWS, which is these three F2P weapons and Deathmatch, my recommendation is just use whatever artifact that, whichever artifact that you have better upgrades on. Now, of course, if you disagree with me, the, do you 2% matters? Then for by all means, go ahead and refer to the actual, actual percentage difference here along with the constellation that you will be going for and decide which weapon, which EM sense or attack sense you want. No worries, I don't, I don't feel the need to push people to accept my opinion, okay? I'm just telling you my recommendation. If you don't agree, look at all the percentage figures here and decide what you want. Simple as that. Now, this is for 4 Tuttering Fury. Let's check out the figures for 4 GD, 4 Gilded Dreams. <sighs> okay, give me a moment. Okay, sorry, it hand on me. Uh, I think there's too many worksheets in my side though. <laughs> Uh, spreadsheet after adding all the different weapons. So even a short amount here hands it. Okay, but anyway, this is the four Gilded Dreams figures. Okay, right off the bat, if you're sharp enough, you'll see that they are pretty, they are lower than the 40F, but yeah, we'll talk about all of that later. More importantly though, is that you see that there are more red figures, at least the C0 are now all red. But to be honest, the conclusion is still the same. Okay, for PJWS, you attack sense. Unless you are at C6, then you know, it's between which is better. For the other weapons, because 4GD gives you EM, 
the difference between attack sense and EMs is actually more in favor towards attack sense. But it's still small. It's more in favor, but it's still small. Okay. I, I know it sounds a bit contradictory, but it's there is there is a favor, there is a small there is a move in favor towards attack sense, but it's not big enough. It's still within the one to two percent threshold, most of them. So it's still a matter of using whichever artifacts you have better agree on. Okay? So in other words, right, for his signature weapon you should use EM sense. For all of these weapons, other than PJWS, you use whichever is better. For PJWS, you use attack sense. For C6 PJWS, then you can choose uh, between EM and attack sense. But if you are someone who, who went to get C6, I don't see why you wouldn't get R1 of his signature weapon. So yeah. Alright. So this is the attack sense versus EM sense comparison for 40F and 4GD. Now let's look at the performance of 4GTF versus 4GD itself. For all these weapons other than the Scarf of Scarlet Sense, which is a signature weapon. Yep, there are no red figures here. And there are no small figures as well. All of them are at least 10%. The smallest is still like 107 I might be wrong, there may be other smaller figures, but you, you get the gist of it, right? It's 10 to some in some cases 20% difference. So 40F is always better than 4GD. Okay? There are no red figures here and there's no small difference as well. 40F is always better than 4GD. And this is not just for his uh for all these weapons, it's also for his signature weapon. Because I've seen so many people saying that uh you should use Guilder Dreams when you're using the stuff stuff of Scarlet Sets. I've already done the math for that. Okay. While the difference is smaller, it's smaller than this, you if I'm not wrong, it's like six to seven percent from C1 to C5 and like eleven and, and ten or thirteen percent at C0 and C6. But 40F is still better. If you include the entire if you consider the entire rotation damage, 40F is always better than 4GD, even with his signature weapon. Okay, so if you see anyone else saying this comment, please guide them to my previous math guide videos, show them the conclusion and the comparison. Yeah. Alright, now with that being done, we have finished the EM sense versus attack sense comparison for these weapons. For these five weapons, we have done the 4 tier versus 4 GD. Let's look at the actual weapon comparison itself. Okay. So this is similar to my format that I've done previously. I think the last time I did this was ELM because Tinari I didn't have the time to do it because of new element, new reaction, etc. So how you read this, in case you are not unfamiliar with this, how you read this is very simple. Okay, we have the stuff of Scarlet Sense here and PJWS. This stuff versus means this is the figure for stuff versus PJWS. If you see a positive figure, it means that stuff is better than PJWS. And you, and you as you go on to the death match, you see that there's a stuff as well and the stuff versus and the PJWS versus. So stuff versus here means that Scarf of Scarlet Sense is 22.9% better than DM at C0R1. If it's PJWS, then it's 12%. PJWS is 12% better than Deathmatch at C0R1. This is how you read it. Okay, now if you see the red shades and the minus figures, then you know this weapon, this particular weapon. In this case, DM Deathmatch R1 is actually worse than Missive Wind Sphere at all constellations. But this is R5 Windsif versus DM R1. But it's fine to use R5 Windsif because R5 Missive Wind Spear is fully F2P. You will get R5 of it unless you didn't even complete the event. Okay? So before I go further, I'm I'm not just I'm I'm not actually going through the weapon comparison right now. I'm just guiding you guys on how to read this table. So that when you pause it, you understand how to read this. And I'll give you guys a chance to, to see the whole range of figures as well including the figures for white tester too all right but first also let me go through the sessions one by one so after the conclusion i would i will do a uh, pan of the screen so that you guys can see the uh, figures you can pause and compare if you want to now some of the important notes the EM, er values matches whatever has been covered in previous math guides which for the case of the 40f is 100 er 4TF is always better than 4GD, even with signature weapons, so we will compare 4TF figures only. R1 of 5 star weapons, so you have R1 PJWS, R1 star for Scarlet Sense, will be compared against both R1 and R5 for 3 star and 4 star weapons. I.e., 
I'm not comparing R5 5 star weapons to R5 of 3 star and 4 star. Only R1 of 5 star weapons will be compared. Obviously, R5 of 5 star weapons will be compared with R5 of 5 star weapons within their, their, their category or tier. Now, EM Sense is assumed to be used here for all weapons for simplicity, simplicity's sake, except for PGWS where Attack Sense is clear cut better, right? Then we use the Attack Sense figures. So only PGWS are used the Attack Sense figures, the rest of them are used EM Sense. Okay? Oh, and the Deathmatch figures are already assuming one enemy only, which means that it gets higher attack percentage here. So if you have more enemies, this figure does drop a little. Now let's talk about the actual weapons itself. First off, we have PJWS. It looks like it would be good with him, right? It has created on this weapon, that's damage and attack bonus, and the stacking does happen given that he's spamming his attacks. So R1 PJWS is actually 8 to 12%, which is this uh, range here, behind R1 star for Scarlet Sense, which I'll say is typical for a signature versus 5 star, or for versus a 5 star weapon that's on the standard banner. Yeah, PGWS is on the standard banner. Okay. It's amazing that I still do not have R5 PGWS, by the way, even though it's on the standard banner. <laughs> okay. But we can see that his signature weapon is better than PGWS by this amount. This is an R1. But when you go to R5 for the wheels, the signature weapon stuff for Scarlet Sense is actually pretty worth it because the difference now starts to be it's close to one typical tier difference. One typical tier difference would be something like uh almost 20%. So this is close. Okay. In fact, most of the time, if you get R5, you have C6, right? So C6, R5, wise it is 20%. Yeah. So I can safely say from this, right, that the stuff of Scarlet Sense skills a lot better than the PGWS. But if you already have R5 PGWS, then obviously you should use it over the stuff of Scarlet Sense, right? Look at the figures. Although at C6, the R1 Stuff of Scarlet Sense is actually pretty much the same as R5 PGWS. That's how good the scaling of the... Uh... Oh, sorry, not the R5. The C6. If you go up to C6, if you're at C6, right? R5 and R... R5 PGWS and R1 Stuff of Scarlet Sense are about the same. Alright? Now let's talk about Deathmatch. R1 Deathmatch, obviously worse than R1 uh, PGWS, right? But... It's actually okay because it's better than a typical deal difference. It's about 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 instead of one full tier. In fact, if you have R5 deathmatch, it's actually very close to PGWS. Right, it's very, very close. This is R5 DM versus R1 PGWS. Sorry, I'm gonna write this. Flight wives for this as well. This is also stuff R1. Because it's a four star weapon. Okay. Uh you know what? Let me freeze the view so that it's easier. Yeah, sorry about the skip. Uh it's been some time since I last did weapon comparison. <laughs> okay, so this is the weapon comparison itself. Uh, basically, we were at this portion here, right? So we were saying that the R5 DM is actually very close to the R5 PGWS. Oh wait, the view is a bit messed up. My apologies. Yep, so this is better. Now you can see the actual icon of the weapons. Okay, so what I have been trying to say is that R5 GM, in fact, actually slightly outdoes R1 PGWS at C6. So it's worth considering R5 DM if you have R5 DM. But if you don't have R5 DM, right? If we look at the next weapon, it's actually very impressive. Missive Wind Spear, which is the F2P event weapon. You can easily get R5 off, and there's an enhancement bonus when you level it to 90, as you level it to 90. It actually performs better than the R1 DM. Performs better than R1 DM. This is the percentage difference. Now it's slightly better, true, but for a F2P weapon to be better than a bounty pass weapon at R1, R5 versus R1, 
I'll still say it's pretty good. It's a pretty good position for missive wind sphere. But of course, this is specifically for Sino because the stats for the weapon effect for missive works well, very well for Sino. Okay, and uh, like I said, it's a very good performance. And another thing to note is that it's also only zero point five tier behind PJWS, and it's one typical tier behind Staff of Scarlet Sense. So this may be the best performing free weapon I've seen so far, but to be honest, because I've done quite a lot of math for free weapons, I can say that a lot of them are a lot more than just one tier behind. Some of them are two tiers behind. It's usually 1.5 to 2 tiers behind. Some, in some cases, even 2.5 tiers behind. So for Missive Wind Spear to be only one tier behind the signature weapon and half a tier behind the second best weapon, which is the PGWS, is pretty damn impressive. This is slightly the best uh, four star or F two P weapon for Sino, unless you have R five DM, which then R five DM is obviously better than with R five missive wind spear. Okay, so uh, looking really good for this F two P weapon. Uh, next is the kitten cross spear. Oh, kitten cross spear is also an F two P weapon, right? It's a craftable weapon. You can R five of it. Uh, let's talk about Kitten Cross Spear itself. I can tell you guys, it looks decent for Sino at first glance. But because when we do our 18 seconds Q with 4 Thundering Fury, we don't have any energy issues. Remember, Sino is at 100 ER, if you remember my previous math guides. So the energy restoration effect from Kitten Cross Spear is not utilized here. Which then makes it the worst weapon here actually. Kitten Cross Spear is the worst weapon. It's even worse than White Tesser. It's even worse than White Tesla, I'll show you guys later how wide the percentage difference, but it's worse than White Tesla. Now, if you do a 10 second Q with 4 GD, Kitten Cross Spear may have a, a better use case. Because uh, that's the one position that I remember that we need, do need to get higher ER. But in the first place, 4 TF is better. So why are you using 4 GD? Right. So yeah, just, just forget about Kitten Cross Spear for him. Yeah, better off just using the new missive wind spear. Okay, I'm sorry, but that's really the case based on the math. Okay, let's talk about white tesser. Now, white tesser is a three star weapon. I'll say that for a three star weapon, white, white tesser is also performing very well because it's always better than kitten by kitten by six to seven percent and two percent c six. Let me show you guys the figure. Yeah, so this is white tesser. You can see here, right? B R one R five. Let's, let's just compare R5, right? Because uh, both of them are F2P. In fact, the chances of you having White Tesla, I think is it's hard for you to say it's higher. It depends really whether you kept White Tesla. But if you do, if you did keep five copies of White Tesla, it is less expensive than say crafting five weapons, to be honest. Billets can be uh, very rare at times. You may not always have a proper equal distribution of the uh, crafting materials. So you see here, White Tesser is always better than Kitten at R5 versus R5. See, 6 to 7 percent, 2 percent at C6. Oh, and White Tesser is actually also better than R1DM at C0 and C1. So R5 White Tesser is better than R1 Death Match at C0 and C1 by this amount of percentage, so it's about 3 to 4%. And against the Missive Wind Sphere, which I already said that it's a very good weapon for Sino, it's actually ever so slightly better. Right? Because this means this negative figure means that Missive is worse than White Tesser by 0.3%. But the good news for Missive, missive Wind Sphere is that, you know, it's just this amount of difference. Nevertheless, White Tesla still does have the highest damage. So if you have White Tesla, you can go ahead and use White Tesla. I mean, if you, if you somehow have a level 90 White Tesla, why not, right? Because you can also try to give the Missive Wind Spear to some other character. Who I'm not going to cover here, but just saying that you have that option because White Tesla and Missive Wind Spear's performance is very, very similar for Sino at C0 and C1. But if you hate the weapon banner, you love the constellations of Sino, you go further constellations like C2, for example, Missive Wind Spear is better. Okay, Missive Wind Spear is better starting from C2 onwards. In fact, at C6, you see the biggest difference at it goes to 6%. Okay, 
So if I were to advise somebody or recommend someone on a F2P player on which weapon to go for for a Sino, a C0 Sino, to be honest, I'll say it's Mr. Spear because eventually it gives you the potential. If you eventually get more constellations of Sino, you know you are better off than say White Tesla. But 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 you are if you're only interested in like the short term immediate goal, then you know White Tesla is better. But all of this is obviously if you did keep five copies of White Tesla. Most folks when they upgrade weapon, if you use the auto auto uh add weapons and and just use it right. If you didn't lock your white tester, it will be gone. The game doesn't auto default lock for three star weapons. So it really depends whether you have this. But the good thing is that if you didn't keep this, at least you don't have a FOMO, right? You don't need to suffer from FOMO because this safe wind sphere works just as well. Alright, it's a 0 0.3 to 0.5%. We are talking about like 26, 26138 versus 26058. Less than 100 difference. Okay? So <laughs> Between White Tesla and Mr. Wind Spear, it just depends on whether you have a white level 90 white Tesla, whether somebody else can use, make better use of the White Tesla versus whether you have somebody else who can make better use of the Mr. Wind Spear. Same as that. But yeah, generally speaking, I'll, call, I'll recommend Mr. Wind Spear just for the future constellations. Alright, so this is a quick video, but although the, although the math wasn't that quick since I had to repeat for so many weapons, right? But good thing though is this is still faster than for me to do. It's still faster for me to do this than to do the zombie video, because the zombie video changes rotation, changes bar durations. I have a headache for that. Okay, so for conclusion wise, I'll just quickly jump to the weapon rankings itself. At C0 C1, this is the ranking. You have R5 stuff, which is signature weapon, obviously being the best. Followed by R5 PJWS, followed by R1 stuff, R1 PJWS. Oh, but just bear in mind that at C6, R5, PJWS, R1 stuff are actually very, very close. Okay? The difference, uh, the gap is closed at C0. Oh, sorry, C6. Anything before that, yes, this still applies. But at C6, it's actually equivalent. And obviously, R1 stuff is better than R1, PJWS, but it's actually about the same as the R5 DM, as you can see here. And then you have the R5 White Tensor coming next, which is more or less the same as the R5 Missive. Okay, we just talked about this, right? 0 0.3 and 0.5%, C0, C1 respectively. And after that, the next weapon you have is R1 DF match and then the R5 Kitten. So like I said, Kitten Cross is the worst weapon. DM is actually not look, doing so well as a bounty pass as well. Missive and White Tesla are really nice as F2P options. Okay. Now at C2 Blast though, the key difference really is that Missive starts to outperform White Tesla. So the ranking is pretty much the same except at this point where Instead of R5 White Tesla more or less equal to R5 Missive, you now have R5 Missive being better than R5 White Tesla. This is the weapon ranking. So decide which weapon you want based on your availability and the performance and the ranking. Now, if you don't intend to put for a signature weapon, to be honest, I think R1 PJWS or R5 DM are decent enough. Because they are only half a tier behind, right? This and this okay, this R1 PJWS is half a tier behind, R5 Deathmatch is also half a tier behind. So I'll say it being half a tier behind is, is this enough? It's okay to use those. Otherwise, you can also use R5 Missy for R5 White Tesla if you don't have these two weapons. But uh, just bear in mind that R5 Missy is better than C2 Blast. I personally recommend Missive Wind Spear, to be honest, because not everyone uh, has R5 White Tesla. Not everyone lock the white tesla. Okay. <laughs> now, while his signature weapon is good, I'll say it's not a must pull. Because the R5 misses is only one typical tier behind. It's not 1.5, it's not two. It's only one tier. It's not even 2.5 tiers behind. Like, which weapon is it? Ah, Fading Twilight. Fading Twilight is really bad in the math. It was, uh, I remember it was pretty bad. It's definitely more than one tier behind. The uh, signature weapon. And that will be the that comparison was done for uh, Yelan. Okay, so I wouldn't say that his signature weapon is a must pull or he's only good with his signature weapon because the next best option, the F2P option, is only one typical tier behind, not more than one. At least that's how I see it. Okay, okay, uh, before I talk about what's coming next, we pretty much finished the weapon comparison. I just wanted to quickly do like a panning of the screen so you guys can see the figures. 
Okay, so you have the PJWS uh, comparison, you have the DM comparison here, the missive wind spear comparison here. Next up, do pause it if you want to. You have the kitten cross comparisons, here, four weapons versus it, and five weapons versus white tessa. Okay, so it's me doing a gradual progressive uh, comparison, but you do get to see how all the weapons perform against each other in this manner. More or less. All right. Okay. So let us. That brings us to what's coming next for Sino. So I've already finished all these videos for Sino, right? We finished the weapon comparison as well. Now I'm gonna do. I think I will go on to do the constellation refinement comparison because. Oh, let me think about it. I can't really do this. I can't really complete this. I can do some pre work for this, but I can't complete this until we have the banner information. Yeah, I kind of want to do this together with the banner information. Or do you guys think I should split it? Uh, uh, let me know in the comments. If there are more people who are interested in looking at the concession and refinement comparison before the even, even before the banner information is out, I'm I'm okay to do it as well. The Zhongli video, I kind of want to take the weekend to to look at it to see whether or not I want to do it because it's a lot of effort. It's it's filling the eighty twenty rule. Okay, it's filling the eighty twenty rule. It's too much effort for that, <laughs> for that math. But at the same time, it does help to offer a view, right? Of uh, having longer buffs versus shorter buffs, but more buffs. Because that's literally the comparison between the two right now. Because I don't have some Kazuha in here. But I I'll talk more about that uh, if we do get to do this video. Okay? So anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. I think it should be. It does provide a lot of information. And if you like the video, Oh, sorry, if you like the content, remember to like the video and click subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.